Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lloyd and welcome back to Super Hostile Legendary. In the last episode, we got diamonds. Finally, we got diamonds. And, well, um, went ahead and made a diamond pick uh, because we need to get fortune. And we do have an iron pickaxe that does have fortune 3 as well. Um, so, yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and pick up this guy. Uh, and we're going to take him with us. So I wanted to come back here and drop off the diamond block. Grab as many blocks as possible. And we're going to head back to the nether and go through everything. So um, we are very, 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 very close to being done with this series. Um, with this map. And that's kind of amazing. I have tried many times before to finish this map and for whatever reason just kind of stop playing um but this one this time is actually oh, we're we're so close there's two wool left to get and um for the most part it should be straightforward to kind of do everything um hey this kind of this finally nope Alright, <laughs> I had uh, broken the, the glowstone to see if there was anything underneath it, and turns out, no, there wasn't. Um, Alright, now we're going to have a lot of gas. And we're just going to run. Run through the pigmen. The gas will usually miss. Um, so something that's also a chunk error over there. Uh, something that's not typically... I don't think it's t typically known, um, but gas tend to shoot higher than you are. They aim for like right above your head, uh, so if you keep moving, uh, they almost never will hit you. Uh, it takes a very lucky shot for them to actually hit you. Uh, but our path back and forth is pretty much safe. There's one little area that is not, and that is uh, the area coming up after our little maze. Uh, and yeah, like I said, there's two wolves left. There is just the one last area, the face of evil, which we took a look at last time. Um, I want to go get some diamonds before we do too much more, uh, so that we can get some nice diamond pants. I want to get the strongest pants. Uh, actually, I don't even know if we're going to do, uh, in a level 30 enchant on the pants. I think we're going to make another sword, enchant that with level 30, and retire this guy. So... Uh, as you can see, this is the area that the gas kind of like to blow up. And... Um, can you... Can you move? Thank you. Alright, so uh, this is an area we need to kind of fix. Because if gas shows up, um, that could be death. So, we have a lot of stuff on us, and we're just going to head all the way back. Um, we're nearly there, um, but back to our little, well, I guess is basin, the, the gigantic uh, stone pillar that leads down to the, uh, the diamonds. And we're going to go get some diamonds um, for pants and for a new sword. Because uh, our current sword is about broken. Now, once we get to the face of evil, um, the first little part of it is pretty straightforward. I don't remember everything about the face of evil, but I do know that one large portion of the area is an absolute pain. Uh, unless you have a lot of blocks. Which is why we're going to be carrying a lot of blocks with us. Uh, so let's just head back. Uh, don't really care about the gas too much. Gas is not too concerning, to be honest. Uh, and let's just pop down here. And what we can do is we can start mining out a little bit of an area. Uh, so that we can place down our jandy table. So we don't really have too much. I didn't bring the wood. Oh no. Um, Alright, so let's put most of the stuff away. We went enchanting table. 
Uh, let's get a little bit more cobblestone slabs. And I think this will be fine. So, um, let's just go ahead and get everything nice and high leveled. And I don't know that we need that. Uh, Alright, so what levels can we get? 24? You know what? That is probably good enough. Um, now here's a question. If we put something there, will we get a higher level? No. Okay, so theoretically... Uh, let's see, theoretically, uh, the slabs will prevent the level, right? Yes. Okay, so we don't want that. Um, so we might have some pigments spawned in here, but hopefully not. Alright, let's put a lot of this stuff away, um, except for our pickaxe and our blocks. We shouldn't need that, but let's go down and we're going to get some diamonds, and uh, I don't know how many episodes of this we're going to have left, but um, not many. So let's put this, like, here. And do something like that. Alright, let's go get some more diamonds. Um... We're just going to go to this island, we're going to pick up a handful of diamonds and call it a day. So, uh, there's one, put blocks on the bar, and 13 diamonds, that's not too bad. Um, the real question is like, how many do we want? That was four more diamonds. Wow. Uh -oh. This is not good. Okay, hopefully not many other of those pigmen heard. Uh, but punching pigmen is usually not a good thing. Uh, whether it's vanilla or a custom map or anything like that, it's usually not a good idea to punch these pigmen because they will kind of ruin your day. So these guys are probably all mad at me. Uh, we have 23 diamonds. We're gonna make a new sword. And there's gonna be a lot of pigment up here. Um, please don't be mad. You guys mad? No, okay, cool. I think we're in the clear. Uh, I think we're far enough away that they don't care. So let's just put a gate on that, and let's go make some diamond pants, a uh, new diamond sword, because ours is nearly broken, and we will go from there. So, one, two, and then seven. Alright, so, there is the sword, some nice diamond pants level 16 what oh right torches block it too forgot about that okay so level 30 um which we barely have uh do i want level 30 yes knock back oh it's slightly less sharp Ugh. that's not good um, we can take off our iron leggings. Actually, our iron leggings are pretty good. We're going to keep the diamond leggings. We'll put that back. We're going to want some blocks. And... I think... I think that's about it. So... Uh, we don't have any levels. Let's go ahead... 
And can we do something about this? So we'll do that just to, to make sure things can't spawn. I don't believe anything can spawn on there. But it is time for us to head to the face of evil and actually get into the area. So we're going to want to use cobblestone um, to bridge over there. And we're not going to really worry too much about the whole, you know, making this safe. Uh, I don't... I don't know if gas can actually destroy lapis uh, blocks, but I think I think they can. Um, but it shouldn't be too much of a concern. Uh, the The frequency of gas is not too big, and I say that, and one spawns. But hey, you kill it, get it over with, and uh, you'll be fine. So we need to bridge over to the face of evil. And that part is going to be pretty easy. Um, now, I want to spoil a little bit. We're at Y level 37. Um, we're pretty low to the ground. And you'll see later that we're going to go actually deeper before we go up. Um, and that's just kind of a something thing that happens. But we need to go right over there. So this is where things get fun. All right, we're going to make a little bit of a wall on each side and we're gonna do something like this all right uh so i saw the gas he's over there and Oh, come on. Where is he going to be? Oh, really? Alright, let's get closer. So we can basically shoot straight up at him. Um, oh, that hit. He got the fire effect. Alright, and this is where things get a little scary. So that answers my question about the lapis. Uh, lapis is fine. So we're just going to go straight over here. And once we get to about here, eh, a little bit closer, we're going to want to block off that lava. And let's see. Something like this. One, two. Back up for a second, get more cobblestone. We're probably gonna need a lot more blocks. I don't know if we have any more blocks. I don't really wanna go all the way back to like the beginning areas to search for blocks, but we might have to. All right, let's break this for a second. So we can put a block there. And we're going to do something like this. Perfect. Let's put ladders. Um, because ladders are nice and easy to use. So for now, let's go ahead and switch to blocks that can break. Uh, but don't really matter. So... This is where things are going to get, uh, well, dicey, I think would be a good way to put it. I don't feel all that, but uh, it is time to go down the throat of this thing. And, you know, we're probably going to want to secure a way back up uh, with ladders. So let's just... Can you not put ladder ladders on? Okay, I was gonna say, can you not put ladders on? No, you can't. Um, we don't need a ladder there. Okay, so that is not too bad. And we'll probably want to do something like this. Put a torch. And 
put a block there, block there. Uh, let's get the ladders. This is such a mess to deal with, but... Ow. We'll get there. Um, so deeper down the throat of this skull beast thing. And um, so, okay, I I'm going to say this, and this is something that is kind of well known in the map making community. By the way, we are at like Y level 12. Um, but basically, there is a slight issue with finales of maps being in the nether and that is well there's only only one way to spawn things in that's the and that's well there's only one way to get things to spawn for you that are going to attack you and that is well spawners uh so this area is going to be very heavily spawnerfied um lots of spawners but other than that, not really much of anything. So let's make a little bit of a ledge like so. If we fall down there, we're probably dead. And I don't know that we need to have a railing, but let's go ahead and put a little bit of one. Uh, especially at the entrance. So... Do something like that. Okay, so we have spawner boxes and expect me to be uh, doing this a lot. Um, we are going to be bridging very, 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 very often um, because, well, honestly, honestly, it's probably the best way to handle this. All right, we are getting close to skeleton spawners. Um, first thing we have to deal with. And there's not really much else over here. So once we get close, we'll just back away. Uh, checkerboard patterns are terrifying when they're checkerboard with lava. So it's, you know what, let's lava bucket. Um, the skeletons will die. The pigmen won't care. And then we can just go in and uh, make things a little bit better for us uh, slowly. So, this gives us light, uh, which is arguably the best part. And I just heard a creeper. Oh. So. Let's put another thing of lava there. And how do we want to handle this? There's going to be a lot of things spawning. Uh, so I guess if we can reach, yes. We're going to put torches on this box. And torches on... So there's spawners on the other side of this wall. And that is the issue. So let's put lava there. And that will deter um, the spiders as well. So... We need to put torches, uh, we need to get other blocks, don't want to kill my lava, although there is plenty of lava to go around. And what do we want to do? So I want to go here-ish, go up against the, uh, the wall. 
And hmm. This is where things get weird. Uh, because we need to get to the other side of this, and this is a terrible, terrible area. But um we can make it mostly safe. And then we'll just kind of we'll go through and um Lava bucket right there. We're almost out of blocks though. That is a little bit of a problem. And we have we have creepers. All right, spawners. Spawners are no match. Now there is a little bit of a ledge here, so we should be able to just kind of go through and break all these guys with like, like next to no worry. Uh, we'll do the same thing over here. Uh, let's hold shift. Because I don't want to deal with any, any badness. All right, no more creepers. Um, so from here, what do we do? Uh, we need to continue onwards. Uh, let's go back, let's grab our lava, let's add some torches down here, wherever we can reach. And I guess let's continue on. Um, we'll just use our cobblestone and this is a little bit of a maze I believe but right there is actually the wall um, you'll see what I mean in a second this is a terrible area by the way um, I do not suggest going down there uh, I've never actually done that so as long as we have a little bit of a lip things should be fine and the reason for the lip is the spiders so Let's just kind of do this. We're high enough that uh, this area is actually pretty easy. Um, despite being one of the last areas and arguably the harder of the two areas, um, because of the way it's designed, it's actually really simple. Um, so long as you don't go the, well, hard way through. Now... Uh, obviously, this is super not safe. Um, we can get knocked off very easily, but by what? Uh, you know, it's not super duper concerning. But what is, is what's beyond here. And that's the wool right there. Alright, so let's, for just now, let's go ahead and finish this off with a little bit of a platform. Um, so that is the wool right there. Uh, that is void. Those two things do not go well together. So what we're going to end up doing, and for right now, we're going to do something like this. Uh, just so spiders can't get up here. Uh, I'll probably destroy all of this. Uh, next episode but basically what we're gonna end up doing is if you look we can just kind of go around here if we go up a little bit we can go around the edge get over to this area um, kill the spawners that are gonna be shooting those uh, dispensers and then we'll deal with the wool later once the dispensers are disabled uh, the wool should be pretty straightforward to get so that's the plan I am going to carefully walk back um, you know what, around this corner, I want... Oh my gosh, how did he do that? Alright, so that is a possibility. I don't have enough blocks to warrant uh, getting... I don't have enough blocks to warrant getting... Uh, like securing the edges. 
but uh, we'll do that much. And let's get an inner bro on our bar. So how did he get up there? That was, oh, he might have jumped. Uh, because I was standing there, he might have jumped when I did the whole thing. And that would cause issues. So um, we'll get away from all that. It'll be fine. Uh, we can drop lava periodically if we wanted to. Uh, that'll not only get rid of the mobs, but should disable the spawners. Uh, a lot of things we can do, but... Uh, that is the first area of the um, face of evil. So we found the wool. We just need to retrieve it. And in order to do that, we're going to need a lot and a lot of blocks. Um, so I'm going to head back to base. I'm going to get a bunch of blocks. And next time, we will uh, take care of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!